and gentlemen, he is a member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former two-time UFC Welterweight Champion, Brad Hughes. Can you tell me about, like, how this actually happened? Like, how did we go from that to getting in this accident like what led up to it that day? Like run me through the story. I'll, I'll try and explain it, but if you have a question, ask me. But I was helping a farmer and I was taking diesel to a tractor and filling the tractor so in the back of his truck. I had diesel and death was a diesel mixture, but I was in the country going across a rear track and at the time the corner was up so I couldn't see the rear track well. And there's no cross home or lights, it's just a, a yellow sign. And so, so it was a bad angle. And I, I had a video on the truck and in, in my truck, the other seat and block up between the front and the back door is in the way. So you can't see the track at all. Terrible angle, but that's why I didn't see the, the train. It was no cross homes, no lights, and just a bad crossing but I was just going to fill his tractor and I, I get it. I, I remember nothing about the date. This is all from people that were with me. I just don't remember anything. Hmm. So so you just from this is you piecing it together so when whatever the injury, the brain injury is that what I'm assuming you got is a traumatic brain injury? I got a traumatic brain injury from the train hitting me so hard. It really tripped me up and gave me a brain shear, which is cutting the axle away from the brain. So, so now um, we have this accident and what's life like now picking up the pieces? Like you say, you can't remember that day. Is this like the movie Momento? Like, do you never, you can't remember anything? You have a hard time with remembering stuff now? Or is it just that? Just that day, which I was told that that happens a lot with a, a brain injury. They don't remember that day, but I just wish I could know more about the day and the later, but who does see, who doesn't see the biggest thing in Illinois? The biggest moment ever is a train in uh, Illinois and just drives me crazy. I, I, I was in a, in a, after the train wreck, the train name is so hard. I was in a coma for 19 days and they said with my brain injury, I should have blood and syndrome, which is why I'm just in a bed or a chair watching TV and I'm locked in my own body, but I am i can't speak, I don't speak or do anything, I just keep to myself. That's what the experts said I should be. You know, they said you shouldn't even be able to talk, that you shouldn't be able to move. Was that hard to go through for you? was to have that sort of taken away from you by that train. It's tough. Can I say whatever I want? Sure. You can cut out whatever you want, but I've got some good friends and I'll admit I've thought about suicide, but if I commit suicide, then I so many people watch me, they might think it's good to do the same thing. So I, I can't do that. Kind of sucks. I can't even kill myself because other people would do the same thing. Mm -hmm.